How y'all doing, man? Yo, what's, what's good? good? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy. You know, it's Shaco. You know, Shaco in the cut, man. We just chilling, man. Got my boy. Go, baby. You feel me? Straight out of PA. You know what I'm saying? We putting off for Port Out to Texas, man. Y'all know about yeah, Port Out to yeah. Texas. Y'all gonna soon to know something about it. And we just out here, man. We just out here working. We grinding. And we trying to live our dream, man. We just out here in Houston. Just going at it. You know what I'm saying? So, so I mean, you know, I know y'all, y'all do a lot. You know, you're a photographer. Yeah. You know, um, Drew, I know you do videography, directing, you know, a lot of stuff in media. Stage and stuff, yeah. You got your own stuff on your artists as well. Yeah. Um, so, kind of just talk about, like, I guess, first about, like, how y'all all got in the same, you know, like, group with each other. Like, that <laughs> What's your. <laughs> that shit crazy, bro. Destiny, bro. That's how it happened. Yeah. Four, 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 uh, Trill Nephew, so shit. Yeah, they been baby, together. So we been there. And then, like, I just moved out here, like, eight months ago, started doing photography and stuff, so true. I just hit him up because he's from my hometown. Okay. I was like, you know, bro, can we just work together? Like, you know, I'm legit. I'm trying to trying to get on. Yeah. And he just believed in me, and I just, you know, we just all, like, connected. And then we from the same city, so, you know, yeah, it, we, it just made sense, too. So it was just, like, destiny, like he said. Like, it's crazy, like, how all of this, like, just worked out perfectly. But like, it, re it really get deeper than that too, though. Yeah. It really get deeper than that. Yeah. It's really, it's really a family. Yeah, it's family. Like, I knew him since yeah. I was a kid, but we just been separated, and you know what I'm saying? Like right. we just getting back to know each other. It's crazy, right. but we knew each other. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, can you just kind of talk about like why you decided to work with people that's from your hometown, even family, you know? business you know. so it just made sense it ain't even about why i wanted to do it, it just was like shoot, it made sense <laughs> so family right here you know what i'm saying been known since she was four years old you know what i'm saying then bam pa on time hit me up somebody put in a good word for him and bam you know what i'm saying we just that was it Shout out to Bud. Shout out to Bud. You already know. Man, it's a, it's a lot of shout outs, man, but you know what Every day in the mall, do you know what it costs? Uh, I just took a whole lot of wild card. I just spent 365 in the trap spot. Uh, know we gon' trap when the block hot. You know we having it. Used to be have not. I'm Sam, first, cool little quick shout outs, man. Shout out to my stylist, man. Trendsetter Company. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Steve and Grace, man. You know, they be hooking your boy up. Y'all check them out. But, man, it's just crazy, like, how everything working behind this camera, like, how far this camera could get you. Like, the camera could take you places you ain't never been before. Like, I ain't never been on a plane. He was the first person to take me on the plane. It's crazy. Like, so, man, I'm just blessed. Like, every, like, shout out to Industries TV, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just blessed to meet everyone I'm meeting from this camera. Like, it's just crazy. Like, mind blowing. Really? Eight months, bro. Eight months. Yeah, like a lot of my pictures I'm taking is because of the connections and the people I'm meeting. And, you know, just like off the strength, like a trill, you know, or just Big Who or J Rag or TSL. Like, no matter who it is, like, I'm just, like, I'm just likable. Like, you know what I'm saying? People just like my, my swag or whatever. Like, I'm just. Like, the same with Paul Wall. Shout out to Paul Wall, like, for believing in me. Like, it's crazy, like, like how everything, like, just working, man. Like, I'm blessed, like, honestly. Like, hell yeah, bro. So, like, do you feel like you had to go through, like, a lot of things to Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Like, quality is everything, and, and quantity is too. But like, quality in this industry is a, like I'm I'm learning from the best. Like, pretty much, like this is the goat right here. Like, so like all that color grading and all that, you know what I mean. So it's like I'm blessed to just have a mentor like that and and be able to learn, you know, a few things on my own too. So. But, like, it mostly go about, like, who you know. Like, just asking around, bro. Oh, for real. Learn talent shit cool. I mean, just do both. Have a good balance. So, get that talent up and make them uh, network connections. So, crazy. Yeah. 
when you talk more about your trail, uh, like your ascension in this in this field, especially as a videographer, like and having a name that is becoming like people know when they see trail art, like mm -hmm. people are like the shot So you mean just like coming from the bottom up and yeah, everything just growing? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was a grind. It's still a grind, you know what I'm saying? But shit, man, you know, just stick to it. Don't give up. Don't ever give up, bro. Is there anything that you learned that helped you be able to pivot as far as like business to where you are able to like start charging what you want to charge, shooting what you want to shoot, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you can live off that? A whole lot of just working real hard and experience. I can tell you, I just do this constantly over and over and over and over and over. And I just learn every day. Every day I learn different techniques and shit to just kind of elevate me. So that's my answer. Yeah. 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 So I do, man, we help my boy get out, you know what I'm saying, whatever you need, like if you need something moved or all that, like we help him, and you know, I get BTS all the time and, you know, get to be able to get my solo pictures, you know what I'm saying, and network at that too, so, yeah, I, I mean, it's basically like a win-win-win-win, like, you know what I mean, like, so he's honestly. good at networking like a motherfucker, Yeah, I'm, I'm talking. Yeah, you got a lot of talent and everything too, and he real good with the networking, so me, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not too good with the networking. Like, I'm cool with it, but I'm so focused on just the, the skill aspect, you know, making sure my video's dope and everything, and just trying to make sure I meet the video on time and talk with the labels and stuff. Shaco, he just good with the networking. He just bring people in and stuff. He like a facilitator type shit, you know what I'm yeah. So, yeah, me, like I said, I'm talking to the labels, coming up with the treatments, trying to, you know, ideas and everything. Make sure I do the edit work. Uh, oh, speaking of edit, shout out to my boy, uh, Creative J. He go hop in on the editing work. Shout so. out to Visuals by Amir, too, oh, yeah, man. Oh, oh, and shout out to Bagbo, J-Bo, man. Stop yeah, playing. Sir. They all bring some, some shit to the table, so we all on it. My boy, Cole, baby, you already know. The yeah, artist. Already know. Yeah. Coming out yeah. with some dope-ass shit. He tagging along, doing this thing, doing, you know, in the mix with everybody doing what he needs to do, so. We yeah. gonna keep on elevating and everything. Hell yeah. yeah. I wanted to ask you, I definitely want to come to you, you know, you being an artist, because I got a lot of those people. Right. So, when you're doing the treatments for the, for like the label, like, is there a certain link or anything? Uh, I know I don't want you to give your sauce away, but like, you can come <laughs> Man, in. I, really, I ain't really sauce. I mean, I guess everybody kind of do the same thing. So just listen to the zone, to the song, vibe out to it, see what pop up in your head, and then shoot. Just start typing out all line for it, you know? That's usually how I do it. Uh, you know, sometimes, too, we just conversate with mm -hmm. each other about ideas, you know, what the artist might want to do. You know, tell them what's possible. You know, put shit in the budget, you know what I'm saying? This might cost about two racks. This stuff costs five racks. You know what I'm saying? So, that, that's pretty much how it go. And then, shit, we just book everything and go from there. So, uh, With you being an artist and being in these spaces, is it easy for you to get your music off and like get those features you're looking for and create the content you're looking for? Really, yeah, in a way, but in a way, I, I like to take my own route. You feel me? So I like to be my own independent person. You feel me? So I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't really like. It's not like I'm, I'm coming up underneath somebody, you feel me? But I'd rather like, you know what I'm saying, pop out and be like, oh yeah, this is his own self, man, mm -hmm. you feel me? Like, yeah, that's that's how I like. But really working with Trill, it do open my eyes to see like a whole bunch of problems that rappers have, and you know what I'm saying, for me to affect myself so I don't have them problems, you feel me? That's, that's basically what it is. So, so like, whenever you got ideas for videos and stuff like that, do you feel like it makes you a better artist understanding Basically, well, yeah, some, some, some parts of it because, like, when I have certain, when I have certain, like, visions and stuff like that, I talk to Trill, be like, hey, Trill, 
I feel like we should do this trip. Like, oh, that's hard. Do you feel me? Or he'd be like, we, we can see what we're going to do with it. You feel me? But me as being an artist, by him taking me to all these sites, meeting all these people, doing what all that we do, it do make it better to produce music, though. It do make it better to, to write music, because how many people get to say that they get to chill with celebrities? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, and, and what, what do you feel like you've probably picked up as an artist being around these, these other successful artists that you can add to your craft? Straight motivation. Straight motivation. And independency. For sure. Uh, no voice. You know what I'm saying? So what, what make you uh, want to hone in on that? Like just doing it by yourself. Not by yourself, but with a team, but not with the help of the lady. Right. Well, to be honest, I don't, I don't even... That's a that's a good question to me. That's, that's a good question. <laughs> to be honest, I don't. Yeah. yeah. Like it's a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of artists who just not signed, but they own. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't even know they own, but they own, bro. Like, so I mean, it's it's there, and we seeing it. We see it all the time. Like, a lot of artists is own, bro. Like, and they no label. They making their own label. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So they building they they building they they building their, they building their creation from the roots. And that's that's kind of what we doing. All of us as a team. Plus what we got going on extra, you feel me? That's all. That's all we're trying to do is branch out the roots. Yo. Yeah. So like, can you talk about some of the music that you got coming up, man? Is there anything, anything you can give us right now that you want to be pushing? You know, so look out for. All I, all I can say is look out for the new song coming out, new single, no problem. I'm telling you, it's, it's fire. It's fire. Okay. New single, no problem. Okay. And for those who don't know, like, what, is, what would be your style? I'm an artist that like different genres of music, but really mostly for me it's more like, you know, like the rap, the, you feel me, like stuff that lets you get up and dance, you feel me, like you can bob your head to, you can chill with at kickbacks, parties and stuff like that, that's that's the type of artist I am, you feel me, I want to be the person like, they be like, oh yeah, I remember when I used to do this when they listen to my music, you feel me, or they, just basically relatable, you feel me, to my verses. Everything I go through in life, everything that I go through in life, like from the good to the bad to the in between to everything, everything from working with Shaco, working with Trill, especially working with both of these men, bro. I'm telling you, when we became a team, like it's 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 crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, bro. So like, what type of numbers? Really, I'm an upcoming artist, you feel me? So I'm just now pushing, I'm just now pushing my music out, you feel me? So I ain't blowed up, blowed up like how, like how everybody, you feel me, with like how other rappers is as an independent artist. But I'm, I'm pushing to that point. Just y'all, y'all here early. Yeah, you feel me? Y'all, y'all getting the very like, first yeah. close in look, you feel me? Like this, from this interview, or from from the so future, like just eight months from now, yeah, yeah. boy. You heard what that you heard? Well, who was that? Was that Pooch I just said? In 17 months, he done turned to a rapper? Yeah. yeah, man. I'm trying to, yeah, for sure. So, like, what do you, you want to see? Like, what's some, what's some people you would want to get featured with? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Really? I'm trying to be the first artist, the first youngest artist in the, in the game to be the one that do work with everybody. I'm talking about rap, hip hop, R and B, like every genre of music you can think about, I'm trying to be the first rapper to be with everybody. That's that's my goal. Because I, I got I got that vibe where like I could just you know what I'm saying, just click tight with everybody. You feel me? So you feel me when when I do meet them people and they do come down to that, you feel me, then I I work out my little yeah. y'all coming from Port Arthur, how do y'all feel like people receive y'all, you know, and see y'all success? <laughs> Some, oh, you know man. what I'm saying, you're going to have, if you don't have haters, you're doing something wrong. Right. So, I mean, yeah, I am. 
don't tell me shit. Cause I don't. Like, don't yo, we got we we of course we got support like from our city like always like they, I love my city to death like, and I can't wait to just get back to my city. And then we, of course, we got, you know, some haters, you know, whether they content creators or whatever they do, like, they just like, well, what they doing to get doing this this quick? Or like, you know, we just blessed. And, you know, we just, we not asking for it. It's just coming to us, like, really? and like, the more, the more you work for it, you're going to start earning. You're going to have rewards for working for something. Like, sure. it don't matter if it's basketball, whatever you do, like, yeah. you want something bad? You gotta Some earn it. Work. You gotta earn it. You they don't just. Mean. You, always you know what I'm saying? A, you always gotta make a, sac- a sacrifice to prosper, bro. I don't care what nobody said. You always just make don't a do sacrifice. Just to don't prosper. make a bad sacrifice. Yeah, don't you make. Yeah, sacrifice, yeah. Don't fuck with that. Yeah, like if you know you ain't gotta sacrifice it, that's not a sacrifice. I mean, like sleep. You know, stop eating bad. You know what I'm saying? Or make responsible decisions. Type change thing. your environment. Yeah. Change who you hang. Change your environment for sure. That was my biggest pet peeve. Now that I got this, you know what I'm saying, I done changed up, I'm, I'm 10 times better now. Yeah, that's how we do it. Is yeah. deep. Now, only show up when the time is yeah. deep. Rockin' with baby the long way. Long you know what to do, had a long day. Take like Kevin Gates, do what the song say. You don't buy me shit, I'm like, no way. So I'ma teach you how to treat a bitch. Yeah. And I'ma teach you how to eat a bitch. Yeah. And I'ma show you how to blow the bag, even when I do not need the shit. So yeah. 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 That's home. Still got family out there. It's only an hour 30. Yeah, you feel me? That's home. Anytime. Man, y'all just be on the lookout. Like, I'm telling you, it's, 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 it's we going crazy. We going crazy. Man, I want to do commercial photography. I want to do work for, for like, I'm sponsored by Chex Mix. Shout out to Chex Mix. I want to start taking pictures of their product. Lay's chips, like, you know what I'm saying? Real estate. Um, Man, just all type of stuff, like. Like, I want to do anything that requires a picture. National Geographic, like, you know what I mean? Like, and from my hometown doing all that, like, they gonna, they gonna go crazy. Like, it's gonna give them hope. Like, none of that is out there. Like, none of movie life, film life is out there. So I want to bring that out there right. to just open doors. Like, it's crazy, yeah. Right. So, so, what made you really start to be honest, bro, I was bored, bro. I'm not even, like, that's literally that, like, I was gaming before I took touched this camera. I was doing gaming on YouTube, Twitch, and, like, I was just like, bro, I'm really, like, just, I'm not trying to get on for this because, I mean, like, it's not fun, so I want to do something more fun and, like, why not be around, you know, celebrities and stuff. Like, that's how I was thinking at the time, and I was like, man, I'm finna take pictures. Like, literally said it like that. I was like, I'm just going to take pictures. I bought a cheap $300 Canon Rebel T7, shot Rod Wade, like, you know what I mean? Like, and that's from just connection. Shout out to Big Who, like, and it just went on from there. Like, I just started learning and learning as the months went by. It's crazy. I'm 20. I'm 21. Hell yeah. No. <laughs> age, the age difference. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Oh, turning up. You got the older and the younger generation. Young yeah. turn. Yeah. We so turn. We, we know what everybody. We, yeah, we, we got a mix of everybody. So, you know, we bringing that to the table, too. Like, yeah. we know who, who who going. We know who. Because we, 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 we all on social media. We young. Yeah. Man, just shout out to Port Arthur, man. Shout out to, yeah. to my big bro for even believing in me and buying this camera to to evolve me. And just shout out to shout out to God. Shout out to all my followers, all my fans who support me to support Trill, Faux Baby. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Trendsetter Agency, you know what I mean? Bro, for believing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, man, it's just... It's huh? Yeah, Chrome Heart. Yeah, Chrome Heart. You know, Big Baby. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure to check them out. Yeah, y'all feel me? Yeah, I, yeah, chill like, like, like yeah, you know what I mean? Got you, you feel me? PA, man, yeah. we love y'all. And we just, we just gonna keep doing this for y'all. You know what I mean? We gonna be a household name. Yeah, we gonna be a household name. Come on, bro. <laughs> oh, man, we, we a household name in the South, for sure. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, man. 
we now we going worldwide. Oh God, global. Yeah. We're in Africa, yeah. So. yeah. Man, tune in to Industries TV, oh, man. God, if y'all ain't getting y'all interviews from Industries TV, him, what y'all doing then, man? Oh, God, man. Wake up.